Okay, just a couple of extra notes on your PID control loop that is being run in the Simulink simulation environment. You can also add a disturbance to the process. So for example, if this is to do with heating up uh, some liquid in a batch reactor and you get to the set point but then suddenly some cold liquid is added and the temperature drops again, that might be something that's happened. You can add a disturbance, so it's another step here that gets added to the process output and if we run this we can look at the scope and see yes our process was getting to the set point here suddenly there was a disturbance which meant that things shifted dramatically but then the controller kicks in and brings us back to the set point. Uh, another thing to note as well is that if you want to really understand what's going on in this control loop you can put lots of scopes everywhere, run the process and then you can actually see what's going on for all these different uh, signal lines and just try to understand what's going on in the controller. But overall that's a, a few further thoughts for looking at your PID control loop.